Heavy rain associated with the storm pushed land across the far southwest of England, and Britain's national weather forecaster warned of the risk of flooding and urged people to take precautions. Dutch airline KLM cancelled all flights from the afternoon until the end of the day, citing high wind speeds and strong gusts expected in the Netherlands. Weather-related deaths have been confirmed in France, a truck driver died when his vehicle hit a tree in the northern French region of Aisne, Transport Minister Clement Bone said. Nearly the entire coastline of mainland France was under a severe weather warning as of Thursday morning, from Calais in the English Channel to along the Atlantic Ocean coast to Spain. As well as much of France's Mediterranean coast and Corsica, according to the National Weather Forecast. French Matteo Service, the weather service reported record-breaking wind speeds of 180 km per hour along the coast of Brittany. Winds reached speeds of up to 160 km per hour on the coast of Normandy and up to 150 km per hour inland. Waves nearly 10 meters high were expected in the far northwest of the country, local trains were cancelled in much of western France, and all roads in the Finisterre region of Brittany were closed early Thursday. Bone urged people to avoid driving and at least be careful when traveling through areas with weather warnings. We saw how fatal the roads can be in these conditions. He told broadcaster France Info, the storm cut power to around 1-2 million households in France on Thursday morning, power company Enedis announced in a statement. That accounts for about half the homes in Brittany, the Atlantic Peninsula most affected by Kieran. Enedis said it would deploy 3,000 workers to restore power as soon as weather conditions permitted, in Cornwall in southern England, Huge waves powered by winds of 135 km per hour lashed along the coastline early Thursday, while hundreds of schools across the region were closed. On the Channel Island of Jersey, residents had to be evacuated to hotels overnight as gusts of up to 164 km per hour damaged houses, according to local media. Eurostar, which operates trains between the Netherlands, Belgium, France, Germany and the UK, warned that traffic could be disrupted and advised travelers to postpone travel if possible. Domestic train and ferry services were also disrupted, Dutch airline KLM cancelled dozens of flights to and from Amsterdam's Schiphol Airport on Thursday as Kieran was forecast to hit the Netherlands with wind gusts of up to 68 miles per hour 110 kilometers per hour. The impact of the storm was felt as far south as Spain and Portugal, where several regions were on red alert. Fallen trees caused power outages and disrupted train services. Rosmarin Knoll, a weather forecaster for Dutch public broadcaster NAS, said the timing of the storm was important. Because of the warm fall and lots of rain, the trees still had their leaves, and the ground was as wet as a sponge, Knoll said. Therefore, very weak trees have a high chance of falling, this is a big difference compared to autumn storms, for example, at the end of November, when all the leaves have fallen.